from my workbench to the camera to that wall over to these tools here is approximately 126 square feet. That's not a lot of room. I understand that there are people that do beautiful work in a lot less room than that. That's not what I'm saying. But in that small space, I spray most of my projects, my furniture projects, and I need to have a spray booth. How I do that is I'll take this table saw, I'll roll it over there on that side of the shop, and that leaves me a space of about 56 square feet. I've gone to the big box store, bought big sheet of clear plastic, put it on a board, and then rolled it up, put this on top of the rails that go across for the garage door. And I've done the same thing on this side and on this side over to here, except those boards are attached to the ceiling. And on this wall, I have a square hole cut in the plastic for my exhaust fan. A table saw has moved out of this area. Let's start with this, take the bungee cord off, and then, it's just a matter of unrolling it. Now, of course, this has been used a lot, so there's paint spray of all different colors and finish all over. It. So don't mind that. On the bottom is a board, and that keeps it pulled tight down across the bottom. So it's as simple as that. There's one wall. Now let's go for this wall. Okay, with this screen down, that protects my bench. Now this screen coming down will protect my hand tools. Like I said, this one is secured to the to the ceiling with a board held up with bungee cords again. So it's just a matter of rinse and repeat. Let this one down. I'll mount my furnace filters inside this box right here. And there's a fan switch. The switch right here is to turn the fan on and off. So I'm set on that wall. Now for the final screen, roll it down. So there I have it. I've got basically a 56 square foot paint booth. I've got an exhaust fan. I've got good airflow coming through this way. And I've also got a vent back there. The air can come through this way. So I've got a good airflow coming across. I'll add lights in the corners and back here. So I have good lights all the way around and I'm ready to pray. So if you're wondering what this contraption is, this is something that I started with and I just kept adding on to as the projects grew bigger and bigger. If I needed an extra board for it to sit on, I just added a board. What it is basically is it's a base and with a turntable in the middle and I can set it on there and I can turn whatever I need to to get all the way around. Just outside my spray booth, I have this table that has legs on it that are held up with magnets. This is where I put my spray equipment. I set it here and do all my paint mixing here. And it's very handy to go right into the paint booth. So now I'm all set up for my next spray project, which is this bookcase. I've got two of them to do. I've got lights set up. I'll have some more lights. The turntable works wonderfully. I can move it around to wherever I need to spray it. This is a really inexpensive way to come up with a paint booth in your shop if you have a small space. One of the important things I believe is having an exhaust fan. If you don't, I think that's okay too. Just make sure you wear a good respirator if you don't have any exhaust. I hope you can use this idea to help you in your woodworking journey.